Hi, I'm Debbie and I'm here to help you uh, find out a little bit more about using the adapters with the Craftwell eBrush. And I've had a lot of comments about people that are concerned that they're going to crack their adapters when they put them on the eBrush. So I do want to show you that when you look at an adapter, this is for a Prismacolor, you'll notice that you can see a little carrot there. What I've done to help us with the video today is to take my particular adapters and just put a black uh, marker on that so that you can see it. The idea on how to make this fit and to do it so that it has less headache for you, first off let's examine the inside. You'll notice that the tabs will go down into the groove here and then they slide across to lock, your, lock, lock them on your e-brush. So there's two channels. The idea is this, looking at your e-brush you'll see that there is a seam down the center of the brush from the trigger. Take that, put your little pointer or your carrot, whichever one you prefer to call it, onto your e-brush. Holding your e-brush firmly with one hand, uh, your adapter with the other, go ahead and press in and then just twist. And you'll see that there's my adapter. fit really, really well. If you're confused about the direction, you'll even notice on the back side that they show a lock closed and a lock open. So I know that to make it come open, it says to go this way. So I'd hold my brush firmly in my hand and then just swivel the adapter so that this comes back up and then it's off. So it's press on and then turn off. Now at first, because you're new to it, you may find that you have a little difficulty um, with it, but it, that's all it is, just practice. Sometimes someone will contact me and say that their adapters are a little looser. So the idea is this, I always put just a little piece of washi tape in mine, but you would go in the same way, push in, and then twist, and there you have your adapter. Now, one other issue, and let, let's talk about this, because on the Spectrum Noirs, Noirs, some people tell me, see, just twist and turn, that when they go to put their particular pin in, that they feel that they're going to crack the barrel or or they have done it because what they're doing is sometimes forcing it can cause it to separate um, so to avoid that let me show you what you can do as you're looking at the marker by the way let's let's look at the anatomy of a marker silly as it sounds on the marker you'll notice that it does have a rubberized grip so that if you are using this to hand color you have something comfortable to hold on the grip now this is to denote the fine tip but just in case you get confused you'll notice that even here it's marked fine tip and on the other side of the grip it is marked chisel tip. So we're going to remove the chisel tipped end. Excuse me while I do this because I usually fling the camera every time I pop that open. So here's my chisel tip and I'm going to put it relatively where it's square to this. Now I'm not going to worry about fine tuning it till after. As I'm putting the marker into the holder I want to show you where the issue is. This is rubberized so it's going to give you more resistance. So very slowly just guide it in. If you find that you really have issues, you can take a little bit of, say, baby oil, or a little bit of greaseless lotion. Just here, make sure it's just a tiny tip, a little bitty bit, and then slide. When you get it in, now this is another issue. If I pressed it all the way to the end, watch what happens. Sometimes I don't get a good spray because I'm actually blocking the airflow. See? The air is, is blocked by the marker tip. So watch when I pull back and find that sweet spot. I have to take, I'll put my thumb tip on the brace in between and pull my marker back and then I'm going to give it a little airflow. And you will actually see, I'm going to push it back in, pull it back, and then feel for that sweet spot again. And you'll see when I get to it. There we go. So. Oh, you know, look Look what else is wrong. Can you see? The marker nib is not adjusted. So what I'll do is I'll go, and this is another issue. Once you put it in, and this happens with a lot of markers, not just the Spectrum Noir. Noir. What you do is go back, and you're just going to turn it. Go back, and let's find that. I think I found the sweet spot, but let's make sure. I'm going to pull back a little, and I'm going to set it again. There we go. And look.
I have found the sweet spot. So that's basically the way it's got to look. And I hope this helped. And again, to remove, turn off my airbrush. I'm going to take my thumb, prep, place it in between, and press and pull at the same time. I'm going to go and wipe the tip off, and I'm going to show you why. Do you see when I put it in, my adapter was dirty, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's actually some residue from another pen. So it's just do this real quickly, get the residue off so it doesn't mix with your color, seat back into the thing. Go ahead and cap it. I always cap mine quickly. I always turn my machine off when I'm doing this. Put it back in its box. Now to remove this, it's very simple. There's your carrot. You're going to press in, turn, and then remove. And it's as simple as that. I hope this helps. If you have any other concerns or if you like other videos, please let me know. I'm Debbie again. I'm your person that tries to help out with a Craftwell eBrush. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.